Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to Doom Eternal's new DLC, The Ancient Gods Part 1. My name is Camel, and today I'm bringing you a 100% completion guide for the third mission, The Halt. I'll show you where to get all the goods, the gore nests, the collectibles, and other stuff along the way, and things you don't want to miss. Now, if Doom Eternal content interests you, be sure to check out the other Doom Eternal videos that I've already done. They can be found via the playlist link down in the description, where you can also find all of my social media links. Be sure to follow me on Instagram and Twitter after this video. And if you are looking for something specific throughout this mission, there are timestamps below down in the old description and down in the comments as well. I hope you are ready for something epic as this level's pretty intense. More intense than camping, in fact. So let's get into the halt. The first thing we'll be faced with is these jellyfish things, if you want to call them that. The best thing i found to do when it comes to these is just wait till they spawn and then jump and dash because you can get a really good lateral distance because they're so far away. When you dash, you kind of just fall onto them. Just don't die. Uh, when they do reach their peak, they do terminate and explode, so just make sure you make your way across without dying. After that, we'll be here in the mission, um, and there is the Slayer Key. We can see it. We'll get to that in a minute. First of all, let's turn this corner and then turn to the left instead of right. Jump up onto this ledge, grab the armor along the way where we can find a one life, an extra life, at the end. This will spawn to Hell Knights behind you, so just get ready for those. I just use the microwave beam because uh, laziness. Now on the map, this extra life is found right here where the Slayer is in this kind of little nook. From here, we're going to run back the way we came and then go to this kind of open area where there's a tree with a green crack in it. Go behind this tree and you can punch it and knock it over. Uh, jump up onto the log, then jump up onto this ledge. And if you want, you can jump up onto this next ledge. Then we want to turn around and then we're going to get the Slayer Key. So make this dash and jump across onto this platform, turn to the left, and there's the Slayer Key right there. On the map, the Slayer Key is found right here on this little upper ledge. From here, we're going to jump back onto this ledge and then back onto the higher ledge we came from originally. Then follow this pathway around, where to the left, there is a crack in the wall that we can punch through. This will reveal an extra life. Be sure to grab that. On the map, this extra life's right here in this little cave. Now from here, turn around and kind of go back the way we came, back to that upper ledge. Now when we get here, just drop down, follow this creek around, and to the right there is a crack in the wall. Punch through this, and this will reveal the first secret encounter of the mission. On the map, this secret encounter is found right here where the pink thing is, easy to find. This one isn't too hard, it spawns like three zombie dudes and a spectre. I just use the chain gun to mow down the zombies and the spectre, but then there is of course the possessed cyber mancubus. I just ran up to it, blood punched it, and then used the microwave beam to kill it. Now although it is possessed with a spirit, you don't need to kill the spirit to pass the, uh, the, the challenge. So just kill the Cyber Mancubus and you'll be set. And you will have unlocked the first half of the Blood Slayer skin for the Doom Slayer. Of course, we'll unlock the other half when we do the second secret encounter of the mission. From here, continue on with the mission and we'll come out into this open glade. Turn to the left where we will see a waterfall. Now under this waterfall is a cracked wall we can punch through where we can find a supercharge. Grab this. This will of course give us full health and full armor. On the map, this supercharge is found right here in this little cave behind the waterfall. From the waterfall, we're going to follow this creek all the way around the way the mission wants us to go. There will be some demons here, including a possessed arachnotron, but I've cleared that out already. Just keep following it around and up to the left where we can find the auto map station. On the map, the auto map station is found right here where the auto map station icon is, of course. Now we're going to turn around and go back the way we came, then turn to the left where we can find the Slayer Gate, which we can open with the Slayer Key we got earlier. Once inside, just activate the Gore Nest to begin the Slayer Gate encounter. As always, it's five minutes of super, super intense uh, demon armies swarming you. 
Now once you complete that, we will be summoned back to the Slayer Gate room, where we can find the third and final support rune for the DLC Ancient Gods Part 1. Of course, activate it and unlock whatever support rune you have left. On the map, the Slayer Gate and the support rune are found right here. From here, we're going to continue on with the mission, which involves running around to the right, then swinging off of this monkey bar onto this little plateau thing here. Turn to the right, onto this other ledge, and then punch the tree with a crack in it. This will summon two cacodemons, just take care of them. Once they've been dealt with, run up the tree that you just knocked over, turn to the left, jump and dash onto this tree with a climb wall, turn to the left onto this ledge where we can punch over another tree. Once we do so, when we run up the tree, we will be faced with a Mancubus waiting around the corner in surprise. Just defeat this. Now, once we beat that, we're going to come around into this little valley. Instead of continuing with the mission, we want to run as far as we can where we'll be met with this giant chasm. Walk to the edge, look down, and jump down, making sure to land on this little platform here. There will be three tentacles that will pop out of the ground. Be sure to be careful of those and to not get knocked off the edge. Once they have been defeated, we can find a codex page. This is the codex page entry for the Book of the Seraphs Part 9, which comes with this image, looking all epic-like. On the map, this codex entry is found right here, where the Slayer is standing at the bottom of this cliff. Now from here, we just need to look up and jump onto the climb wall, look to the left, jump onto this climb wall, and then look to the right and jump back onto the ledge we came from. We want to go back the way we came and then jump up onto this platform here. Once we come around the corner, we will be faced with a Dread Knight and an Arachnotron. Take care of them. Once they've been dealt with, jump up onto this upper bridge where we can see there is a tree with a climb wall in it. Jump and climb onto this, turn to the right and jump onto this little ledge with a tree that we can punch and knock over. Once we do punch and knock it over, we will be faced with a pinky. As I've learned after playing this, just blood punch it, which will kill it immediately. Um, I learned this the hard way by not blood punching it, then blood punching it and killing it instantly. Then we want to turn around, run to the end of the tree where there is another little punch thing we can punch, which will send the tree to the opposite side of the veil. Jump and dash across onto the tree, and then we can continue on with the level. Once we get to this bit, just jump down onto the climb wall, then turn to the right where we can jump and dash onto this little platform here. Now we will notice that behind these lasers, there is a two up, two extra lives. To get to those, we need to jump onto these jellyfish platforms here, then turn to the left where there's a crack in the wall. Just jump down and dash through it to break through it. Follow this little nook and cranny all the way up and around where we can get our two extra lives. On the map, these two extra lives are found right here where the Slayer standing and the two extra life icons are. Then we can jump back out onto the platform in which we were on before, and then we just need to jump onto the jellyfish, uh, onto a climb wall, and then onto more jellyfish, and then off of a monkey bar to continue on with the mission. Soon enough, we'll be out in this arena. Now there is a supercharge here. I would suggest picking that up at the start of the fight as straight after this fight, we can get another supercharge. So you don't want to wait till the end to supercharge when you're going to get a second supercharge anyway. Now once we are done with this mini challenge, we just want to jump up onto the platforms and then come around to the left here, where we can see there's a crack in the wall. If we dash through this, this will reveal some BFG ammo. Worth picking up if you've used it, of course. On the map, this BFG ammo is found right here in this little secret area. From here, and soon enough, we'll be walking through this beautiful forest out into this big open vista. Now once we're here, instead of continuing with the mission, turn to the right, jump onto this platform, and then jump onto this platform where we can find a codex entry. This is the codex entry for the Book of the Seraphs Part 10, which comes with this rather ominous uh, genetic picture. On the map, this codex entry is found right here where the Slayer is standing. Now from where we get this codex entry, jump onto the middle platform, then go past it onto this little platform, turn to the left, and on this higher platform we can find the second supercharge. As you can see, I waited till the end of the fight to grab the other one, so this one went to waste. On the map, this supercharge is found right where the Slayer is standing. A little later on in the mission, we'll be faced with this huge battle arena. It's probably the most intense one 
that uh, is in this whole level, to be honest. But good luck and I'll see you on the other side of it. After you're done with the fight or during the fight, in the center of the arena is some BFG ammo. Be sure to grab that if you've used some of the ammunition up. On the map, this BFG ammo is found again at the center of this huge battle arena. From here, we're going to run through one of these green doors. They both lead to the same place. Uh, behind these lasers, we can see there is a secret encounter. We'll get to that in a second. For now though, just turn around and activate this button to continue the mission. Once you do that, simply look up where there's a button on the ceiling. Shoot it and this will remove the lasers to the secret encounter where we can go and activate the secret encounter. On the map, the secret encounter is found here, as always, with the pink icon. Now, when you start this encounter, I would suggest turning around and going out the right door, where we will find a blood maker. Now, of course, headshot this as soon as you can when it's doing one of its heavy attacks. It's best to get rid of this thing as soon as you can because they're really annoying. Now the other part of this challenge or this secret encounter is a Marauder. Marauders at this point we all know how to deal with them, Ballista and Super Shotgun. The other thing to remember is there are two zombies. So don't forget to kill these because it's really embarrassing to kill a Marauder and then lose the challenge because you didn't kill a guy that can die from simply looking at him. Once you complete the challenge, you will have unlocked the second half of the Blood Slayer skin for the Doom Slayer to use if you so wish to look quite red. Now from here, we are going to turn to the right onto this launch pad and then this launch pad will now be activated. We want to jump onto the launch pad, fly up onto this drop climb wall, turn around, jump and dash onto this monkey bar and then dash onto this platform here. Then we want to turn to the right where we can enter this room and to the left we can find a codex page entry. This is the codex entry for the book of the Seraphs part 11. It goes very well with part 7. Here we have this kind of epic Spartan-esque imagery of uh, someone being pushed off a cliff by some people. I'm going to assume that's the Seraphim and the Father. On the map, this codex entry is found right here, right next to what we need to do to continue on with the mission, so it's going to be very hard to miss. After that, just come to the button in the middle of the room and push it. In about 30 seconds, we'll come to this area where we will have to fight a possessed cyber demon. Good luck. Once that is done, we can either go through the left door or the right door. Both the left and right have different kind of super encounters. I don't think you have to do both, but the rightmost encounter is just filled with heaps of enemies that require the, uh, the plasma rifle to destroy. If anything, it's more fun than a challenge. Once you've defeated those, you can come around through this door where we will enter the central chamber. Now, before I continued on with the mission, I went to the other side and did the other challenge, if you want to call it that. It's not technically, but everything in here is uh, basically blood punch susceptible, and there's plenty of blood punch recharges all throughout this area. Again, it's just a bit of fun. It's super intense, but you're kind of super overpowered with all the uh, blood punch charges you can get. Now, at the center of the blood punch area, there is a supercharge. I would suggest picking this up as it fills up your health and your armor. On the map, the supercharge is found right here at the center of the blood punch arena. Now, from here, we're going to go back to the central chamber, where on the rightmost side is a punch pad. Now, when we punch this punch pad, it will activate this launch pad, jump onto that, shoot the button straight onto the monkey bars, and then we want to dash through this little grate here. I was never able to dash, break it, and land in the area I needed to at once, but anyway. Once we do land here, we want to turn all the way around where there is another button we can shoot. Then we just want to jump and dash or fall to our deaths, where we will end up back next to the punch pad. But now, the door behind the launch pad is open. Now we can enter here and pick up this codex entry page. On the map, it is found right here with a slayer standing in this otherwise locked door if you don't shoot the button. This is a codex page entry for the Seraphim in the Characters and Locations tab. There is no image that we can have a look at apart from this little one here. So once we grab that, just punch the punch pad back onto the launch pad, shoot the button off the monkey bars and into this room 
which is the last room we will enter before the final boss battle. Be sure to pick up the BFG ammo if you need it, and over to the right in the back corner there is a codex page entry, grab this. On the map, this can be found right here, in the corner, where of course there is the BFG ammo just behind it. This is the codex entry page for the father, which again has no distinct image that we can have a good look at. Then we will enter the final boss battle arena when we verse the Seraphim. Uh, this fight's pretty tough, it's pretty straightforward, like it all makes sense, it's just a tough, tough cookie to break. And once you're done with that boss battle, that's the level complete. Which, as we can see, we completed all eight pieces of the exploration component of the level, which is the only component of the level, where we got all five codex entry pages, the one support rune, and the two secret encounters. And the only thing to do from here is to wait for the Ancient Gods Part 2, which is where I'll see you next. It is you, in their world. And there you have it ladies and gentlemen, I've been Camel, and this has been my full walkthrough guide for Doom Eternal's DLC, The Ancient Gods Part 1, the third mission, The Halt. I do hope this video helped you out, and if it did, you'll be very interested in checking out the other Doom Eternal videos that I have already done. Links to them can be found down in the description. Now down there, in the old description, you can find my social media links, be sure to follow me on Instagram and Twitter, and if you would like to support the channel in a more personal way, you can become a patron on Patreon, or of course a sponsor of the channel right here on YouTube. As I'm sure you know, all of my time and energy goes into making these videos that I create for you to enjoy. So your support is most genuinely appreciated and welcomed in any and all forms. So thank you very much for watching, thank you for supporting my channel, and I will see you very shortly in the next video. I'll see you there soon. Until then, rip and tear. Until it is done. <laughs>